Hey what's up guys, it's Rich, welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Today we are landing at Risky Reels. That guy stole my chest here at Risky Reels. I was absolutely fuming and there is a reason that you're watching a replay recording for the first part of this game. I didn't realize that wasn't recording. Sometimes if I'm having like a long recording session, uh, I'll stop my recording halfway through and then try and restart it so the file doesn't go like a, a humongous size. You boy kind of forgot to, to restart the recording and then I had the most incredible start here at Risky Reels then decided wait a second did I press record again I did not that happens very soon so you will get into the live action game uh, here soon enough but Risky Reels you guys have probably been here yourself over the last day or two but because of the the last weekly challenge like it's always pretty busy whenever the weekly challenges come out it says you know get a killer uh, Tilted Towers and obviously well, that's not a good example because Tilted Towers is always very busy but if it says get a kill at Fatal Fields then Fatal Fields is like the new Tilted Towers for, for, that, for that day but this week was busier especially because there was a new skin on the line everyone wants to get these challenges done as soon as possible I have a feeling that many people are like me with these challenges if it's a little bit too busy there if it's a little bit too annoying to go there and search the chests uh, one at a time because you need seven risky reels that people just leave it a day or two. It's a weekly challenge. You don't have to do it. But now that the Blockbuster skin is available, people want this challenge done as soon as they can. And I actually spawn here at Risky Reels at the start, of course. And I end up with 11 kills at Risky Reels. I mean, I didn't do any of the challenges. I tried to get that chest you saw at the beginning. But unfortunately, that man stole it from me. So I had to shoot him in the face with my assault rifle and then steal the shield that he stole, back, stole from me. Uh, but um, there's, there's some other challenges that have made some of the places busy. I think there's a challenge to get three kills at uh, Shifty Shafts, which I've done two of. I'm very close to unlocking the Blockbuster skin. I'm a little bit late to the party, but I'm very, very close. I need to search like three more chests, and then I'm probably just going to go into the 50v50 game mode to get the uh, the pickaxe damage done, because you can knock people down and then just pickaxe their, their lifeless body on the floor. Well, not lifeless, but almost lifeless. You know when they're crawling around, begging for mercy? That's when you can just hit them... Uh, with your pickaxe and it still counts towards the damage given to them as well. I mean you can't see how many kills I've got at the moment because of the replay feature. Still isn't 100%, I mean they've got some improvement to do on it. It's pretty good for what it is but it would be nice to see how many kills I've got at this point in time. The weird thing is being able to see where the people were on the radar and I shouldn't have brought this up so late because earlier on like when I was landing here you could see there was about 30 people landing at risky reels and during the last but one gunfight uh, someone was sneaking up behind me and I had absolutely no idea and it turned out to be the guy that I killed there who I shot in the back but uh, this game goes on uh, to be a, one of my highest kill games I've had just in, in general and obviously it's boosted a little bit from a, a lot of the kills from Risky Reels but it's still a very entertaining game and the live recording is about to start I have to cut myself off here because it's literally about to start in about 4 seconds my friends No! I wasn't record- okay I can probably go back in the replay feature and just do, like do an intro since it's only the first few minutes of this game, but I had 10 kills at Risky Reels. The problem is I've had a decent start at Risky Reels before, but the, the problem is trying to find people afterwards. There's a shield in here. Thank the Lord. Is there anything worse in Fortnite than having your chest on at the start? But then of course running around with zero shields. Being, being one shot to an RPG, a sniper. All that good stuff. And some materials. The start was insane. Like, I'm a little bit annoyed because I didn't actually do any of my challenges there. All I, all I was interested in was... I wouldn't have minded if I got that chest and someone shot me in the back of the head with a shotgun. Because th there's no way you're getting more than one chest anyway. All of the chest spawns. People know all of the spawns. Like you land at one, you get one maximum. At the absolute best, that's what you can hope for. I don't think Tomato Town's actually looted. I'm going to hit these pallets just because there's so much wood. I can't help myself. If I see these things, I have to hit them. There's another one around here as well, look. I was really hoping there was going to be more people here at Tomato Town, but apparently there's not. As I, I think I was saying before, uh, I had a really good start at Risky Reels. It's, it's not too difficult. There's a lot of people running around with no weapons. A lot of people running around with a pistol. So if you can get yourself, I think the dream weapon would be an LMG because you only need to find one of them it spawns with like a hundred and like twelve ammo how much ammo do you get in solo? I can't remember it's it's well over a hundred though and it does the job close range long range not so much long range I'm just gonna go up here you know I've done this completely wrong though I'm gonna have to waste some more wood there we go 
I don't like going through the tunnels. I'm scared of traps, especially now that they do 150 damage. I mean, what just one would take me out. Atrocious. That is absolutely atrocious. Despicable. Excuse me, sir. Alright, so we're in the zone at least. I'm fairly certain Tilted is getting pushed, isn't he? No, he's still safe, I'm afraid. Oh, that sucks. That means there's probably about four or five people potentially at Tilted. Let's see if I can rotate these stairs. I've been, I've been practicing that a little bit. Like, they did, they did an update, and I didn't read the patch notes, but the, the changes seem fluid with this stuff. It, like, sort of glides around. It's not like an instant lock. You can see it moving. It's a little bit easier to track, I think. I need to find someone soon, otherwise this is going to be... Just like an 11 kill win. Mean, mean the final guy in, this, in, the, in a tiny little circle. Trying to murderize some people. The good news is I've got... Okay, there we go. There we go. What are you doing, friend? Jumping over every single one of my... Sniper shots is the answer. I can hear a cart. I can hear a cart. Wait, was that? It came from. I think that was just his. That really. I just wasted about 112 wood, some I don't know how it wouldn't be like a multiple of 10, but. Alright, well, I'll, I'll take this guy's nice stuff. Annoying that I couldn't hit any of those sniper shots. The second one was definitely gonna hit him. I might just jumped right over it, like some kind of stuntman. But at least we found someone. He looked like he was coming from, like, Tilted Way. Which he's getting pushed now as well, which is nice. Oh, a gold legendary venom machine. There's a sky in there as well. I wasn't sure if that was wood or, or metal. I just saw the sky. There's a chug chug there for brick. That one's metal as well. Okay, this has got one for 500 wood. I'm actually going to do this for a couple of reasons. Usually I wouldn't do it. Okay, actually, let me just put this trap down a sec. People might get drawn in by the legendary uh, venom machine and want to push through and perhaps check what's in the little hut. Usually I wouldn't do that. One, because 500 wood is actually so valuable in this game. Like, that wins your gunfights more than a weapon would, in my opinion. If you can outbuild someone, you don't need the best weapons. But, I don't really have much ammo, so it's nice to get a tiny bit more. And, I only had the green assault rifle. If I had, like, a blue one, I might not have done it. Because the blue one's obviously just a tiny bit better. It's, it's difficult. It is a difficult decision. We're safe here. There's a lot of big places that are still safe. I haven't seen anyone in so long. Like, I've just been sitting here, pretty much. I can actually hear a sniper fight going on. I don't think that came from that base, though. Alright, well, that one did. Peek again, friend. Oh my god, he actually is! Are you kidding me?! Oh, he's definitely shooketh now, that's the problem. He's 100% shooketh, I would say. This would have been the far more reliable play. Trying to build it behind him and get some high ground and then shoot in the back of the head when they, they least expect it, but I don't know, I didn't want to waste more material since I've just spent 500 wood on this gold scar. Okay, that's some nice, the same skin. Thank god for headshots on this game. I actually love the update they did with 100% accuracy. It means if someone's standing still like that, you're not at the mercy of Bloom. You can at least land some good shots on them. Well, this is a difficult choice. I, I really like the double pump at the moment, but I know that the gold shotgun is, is supposed to be the best gun in the game. It's the most reliable. It's got the highest potential damage output. It shoots quicker. There's a man right here. That wasn't part of the product description, but I mean, it wasn't a lie, so. And he's got an RPG. Not good. I'm gonna try and connect this. I'm gonna do this here just so I'm connected to the side of the mountain. There we go. It was sort of like a, an awkward angle. We got from a purple sniper. He's got a gold sky of his own. That's a little bit frustrating because I've just spent 500 wood on one. And I'm kind of lacking on materials a little bit. But I might not have got the kill up top so easily without the gold scar. So obviously it does way more damage than a green assault rifle. Maybe that guy would have had enough time to uh, build up or something. So I'm not going to regret it. We're sitting here with 13 kills. Coming into top 5 here soon enough as well. Hello, friend. Where are we off to? 
We threw his shield. That's all I needed. I'm going to push up a little bit here. He's got two choices. He either peeks. He could have either peeked there to try and stop me advancing or put mini shields on. That's what, that's what you've got to do. Got my ankles. If they're just shooting your base like that, just shoot them in the head. Doesn't matter if you've fallen to the ground if they've already if they've already died. I guess it depends how high up you are. I need one of these shields and probably just drop it for my shotgun. Keep the chug chug just just in case. Got some more mini seed too. We're on a full ten stack. Top five of fourteen kills. I mean, I had ten coming out of risky reels. I just could not find anyone. Like five straight minutes. So what? I've seen someone over this way though. So awkward getting your trap out. Get a little bit close. This guy won't expect it, I don't think. High ground. God, I was trying to change materials. There we go. Actually, I was actually going to put the, the chug chug on, but it's like I didn't even check what my health was. Let me just use this guy's campfire instead. I was literally about to use it, but then I realized it's only going to give me about 16 health or something. Might as well just use the campfire. My god, it's so awkward! I hate it. I wish you could do button assignments on console. You can do it on PC. I don't know what I'd change it to. That's the thing. I'd, I'd come up with something. Alright, we're max health. God, for a second I thought I was going to lose my, my health again there. Wait, what is that? It's a sniper. I've already got a purple one. I think that one's semi-auto as well. I always say this about Fatal Fields at the end, but people always play it the exact same way. They choose a hut, they either sit in the hut, or they... Wait a second. Hey! Hey! It's my launch pad. Now it's just sat in one of these trees. Which tree it was though? He's got an RPG. Darn it! No, stop it. I got a build in front of it, I wasn't gonna fall down. I shot him through the tree that was falling down. That's the only problem when you leave behind an RPG like that. You just let other people grab it. I've I've honestly started to hate RPGs more and more. I don't think they're fun to watch. I think they're cheap. I'd rather like double pump, which is also pretty cheap, but it's not as cheap as an RPG. I'd rather die to a double pump than an RPG. At least it took some sort of skill with, with the accuracy, not just aiming at the floor. Sort of missed that little crate. To be honest, I've got 989 wood. Sorry, I, I legitimately thought I just heard someone. Every time. That took way longer than I was expecting. Every time I run near those little windmill things, it just sounds like someone's feet, just like they're crouch walking around a corner or something. I had to destroy it out of pure anger. I honestly don't know how I'm going to find these guys. I might just have to delay the game. Morty Max stack on the old mini shields. At least this gives me some sort of height advantage. Where would they be though? I came from like the northwest and that way. I mean my prediction of them just sitting in one of these hoods is probably correct, isn't it? Let's let's be real here. At least the storm's gonna push them in a little bit if they are camping the outskirts. Might as well push up and get this big shield. It's always so slow at the end of Fatal Fields. Honestly, I might just skip until I find them. This is horrendous. I know what I can do, friends. I've only just realized that I had 19 of these little bounty pads. I wanted to try something. I wanted to see how quick you could build up with one of these. This may take some practice, but let me see if I can do this. That's outrageous how quickly you can get high ground like that. The town may bait someone out to shoot it as well, but I think that I'll die from the fall. I've still got 14 of these things left on oh my word. 
No, I messed that one up. If you get your muscle memory trained on this, oops, that was a sideways one. That one's really bad. If you get your muscle memory trained on this, you'll be able to get so high. Get out of here. Right, well, I've got six left, and we are so high up. If they don't try and shoot this down, I will be shocked. There we go. Hello, friend. You feel he's going to get yourself a free kill, huh? There you go. Oh, I thought I was going to get away with that for a second. He uncrouched so I couldn't headshot him. And I didn't want to just sit there. There we go. Bait this guy out as well. Where was that? Was that this way? I think it was. That's actually a genius new strategy at the end of the game. They'll shoot it every single time, won't they? I think he's just camped in the woods somewhere. So coincides with the storm pushing up as well. Where are you, friend? Give me this 18 kill win, please. I know you have to get out of there soon. Where on earth is it? Oh, there we go. Two hits, not two shabs. I'm coming over. Give me a second. Uno memento, four for four. Oh my god, Richie, you're the worst. I think he's building on me. going. There's another shield hit. I don't think he's had enough time to put minis on, so... This is such a mess over here. Where on earth did he go? Where on earth did he go? Not in behind it. Not that I could see. thing is, I'm actually running out of materials here. And if I get into a big build fight at the end of this game, it may be a bit of a problem. I can't even loot anyone that I've killed. I mean, I want to build higher, but it might be a bit of a risk. I think he must be just sat in one of those, those little huts. But there's, I mean, I don't know where he is, so there is a chance that he's made it. Let me just get back to my launch pad, I'll be happy. There we go. Oh my god! There he is. We found him. Hey, I'll see you down there. This is like the most awkward angle of all time. What am I I'm just aiming to my stairs for? Good job I saved this chug chug because I wouldn't have been able to get full otherwise. But I don't use it now and never will. I know that exactly how this is going to go. Like, this this house is still safe. He's literally just going to sit in there. It's all dependent on the next circle. God, I'm actually scared to peek. Feels like I have no advantage, even though I've popped up the high ground. Just, just putting traps down there. The good news is, look. The house isn't actually safe anymore. I'm going to back it up a little bit. Put myself a tiny little base here. I'm waiting for him to come out. Please, some line of sight, so if he does enter, exit through the left, I will be able to see. I've got him dead to right now, he has to push me. I'm, there's no way I'm pushing there when well, he's probably got a shotgun aimed at the doorway and traps on the ceilings so that I don't know where they are. Storm's pushing. You gotta make a move. Thank goodness the house is getting pushed and I don't have to go inside the house. I would be fuming if I had to go in there. There we go. Easy wins, friends. 18 kills. He actually did like, what, 70? Three damage at the end there with his pump shotgun. Good grief. What a game. 11, sorry, 10 kills we had at Risky Reels as well. It's the new Tilted Towers. I'm telling you, it's the new Tilted Towers. 
nearly 3,000 damage to players. If you guys have enjoyed this one, be sure to leave a like rating. So the ending was so slow. I was really trying to find people as quick as I could, but you saw how much of a struggle it was. We did learn a new technique to bait people out though. If you find yourself with 19 bouncy pads, just build your way up and it'll bait everyone out to shoot it. And you can just glide down and kill them. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Mm, bye.